Hello everyone, how are you? I hope you're all doing well and staying safe. Uh, I'm here in Bethlehem where life slowly, slowly is getting back to normal and almost everything is open, including restaurants, stores, all kinds of different businesses, as well as churches, historical sites and holy places. We're only missing one important thing over here in Bethlehem, which is pilgrims. What you see behind me is the Church of the Nativity, the birthplace of our Lord, Jesus Christ. We're gonna do a small tour inside the Church of the Nativity, starting by the Greek Orthodox section. As you know, the Church of the Nativity is divided among the three major Christian denominations, Greek Orthodox, Catholics, and Armenians. So we're gonna start by going through what we call the Door of Humility. So please join us in this tour. Okay, we are already inside the Basilica or the Church of the Nativity. We are at the Greek Orthodox section. As you can see, it's so empty. I have actually never seen it empty like this. Um, the Church of the Nativity is considered to be the oldest church that is still in use in the Holy Land. The original church that was built at the beginning of the 4th century, 330, by Queen or Santa Helena, the mother of Emperor Constantine. Of course, that church was badly damaged and Emperor Justinian decided to build another church, which is the one we see today, that was finished in 540. So we took about almost more than 1,500 years old church, and that's why a lot of people consider it to be the oldest church that is still in use in the Holy Land. This is the Greek Orthodox section. The Grotto of the Nativity, where we are heading now, is exactly underneath the Greek Orthodox altar. So we are gonna take you and walk down to the Grotto of the Nativity. This is the exact spot where Jesus was born. We're looking at the Star of Bethlehem, the typical Star of Bethlehem, which always has 14 points, representing the three sets of 14 generations each from Abraham to David, from David to the Babylonian exile, and from the Babylonian exile to Jesus. So there are 14 generations from Abraham to David, 14 generations from David to the Babylonian exile and 14 generations from the Babylonian exile to the birth of our Lord Jesus. On the star in Latin, it's written here from the Virgin Mary, Jesus was born. Another thing that we can see over here at the Grotto of the Nativity is what we call the Chapel of the Manger. This is where the actual manger was laid for so many years before it was taken um, to Italy. And it's displayed nowadays at the Church of Mary Maggiore in Italy, but this is where the actual manger stayed for a long time. This is the Catholic Church of St. Catherine of Alexandria, which is the Catholic section of the Church of the Nativity. It's relatively a new church. It was built in the 1880s. And this is where actually the Christmas Eve Mass that you watch and broadcasted across the whole world is celebrated. So the church is dedicated to St. Catherine of Alexandria, who was a true believer in Jesus. And according to one, tradition, Jesus appeared to her in one of her dreams and prophesied her martyrdom. And so we know later that she was tortured and killed by her own father, simply because she insisted to believe in Jesus as our Savior.
as we said, that the actual manger is displayed at the Church of Mary Maggiore in Italy. But last November, they brought a relic from the actual manger, and it's displayed nowadays right there, just by the baby Jesus. Okay, everybody, I hope that this was a good short tour for you. And at the end, I would like to ask you to keep us in your prayers. We will keep you your intentions, your petitions as well in our prayers. Let's all pray for things to get back to normal. And we hope to see you in the near future over here. Thank you so much.